Arigato. Bye. Good morning and welcome to a new vlog. Today I'm feeling super happy even though I just had to pay $50 for a taxi because I went to the wrong train station and I'm about to do a casting and I can't be late so that's why I needed to do the taxi. But I'm choosing to put my energy on positive things today instead of negative things. I'm choosing to put my energy on this casting. It's gonna go super good, I'm gonna get confirmed for the job and I'll get paid. So therefore this $50 will be worth it, okay? This week I've been super busy. I've been working uh, five days in a row and also castings afterwards. I'm gonna tell you more about it soon. Now it's time for a casting. Good morning guys. So it's Sunday 2 p.m. I'm here with my lazy oatmeal. Because today I don't feel like doing dishes, so I did a microwave uh, oatmeal, which is so long time ago. I didn't vlog for two days because I felt really anxious and I was really mad about something. So every time I was gonna like film something, I was like, no, this is, this is not worth it. I'm not in mood. But I did some castings. Yesterday I went out partying. And also like I did some errands or I went to some stores, like Hello Kitty store. I went to a sex shop and... I didn't buy anything, but I find some really nice things. Let's see how this day turns out. Look what I bought at the Hello Kitty store. It's like letters and postcards. It's so cute. I think I'm gonna write some letters now to my boyfriend. Hopefully he will receive it before this vlog is out. Because look how cute it is. So I'm gonna tell you about this week. So I had five photo shoots, which was so nice. And also I did castings after like almost every job. So it has been a very intense week. And two, <laughs> two of the photo shoots I had to wake up like one started at 2 a.m. And one started at 3.30 a.m. Like I got picked up that time. But it was super nice. Like having five photo shoots in a row uh like for different brands i don't think i've done that before usually like for the same brand five days in a row it boosted my confidence like a lot <laughs> the boring thing is that you can't communicate so much with the people you're working with so you can't show your personality as much as you want but at one shooting I had, uh, they all could speak English, which was so nice. I had so much fun. And something that is so nice with photo shoots in Japan is that the team is taking care of you so much. Like in Sweden, like, oh, you can freeze. You can stand outside in snow, freezing for, an hour, for a couple hours. Doesn't matter. If you look cold on the photos, we can edit that afterwards. Mm. But here, all the photo shoots I've been having, you get a really warm jacket where they have taped um, like warm uh, puffs on it. I don't know how to explain. I'm gonna show you. Also, they have heaters everywhere. They have like extra socks for you, like warm shoes. They, they really want to keep you warm. They care about you, which feels so nice because I'm a person who frees a lot. So that feels so nice. Let me know if you have any questions about the photo shoots in Japan. I'm not allowed to film any behind the scenes, unfortunately. It's so annoying because I love sharing like behind the scenes and showing you guys what I do. I feel some behind the scenes and also like the food I get. So I'm gonna show you that now. noodles now 
going. <gasps> it's so fucking spicy. Like there was a sauce to it. And I, I just dripped a little bit and I was like, maybe I should taste it. I tried it, it was super spicy. I only had like 10% of a bag, but still I... <sighs> here's the air conditioner <laughs> and here's my laundry because we don't have a machine for drying the clothes. So yeah, I'm putting everything under, under the air conditioner. <laughs> so here... Good morning guys, I'm on my way to the photo shoot now. I bought a coffee because you never get coffee on photo shoots in Japan. You only get like iced tea, which I don't like. So <laughs> I have my coffee and I have my book because after the shooting, I'm doing costings. So. So it's 3 p.m. and I just picked out pocket money at my agency and for those who don't know what pocket money is it's like you borrow money from your agency and to like for living for like food and travel expenses so you can afford living in another country and now I'm going to a post office to buy some stamps. I'm gonna visit a temple. I usually don't like to visit uh, tourist attractions, but it feels like if you're in Tokyo for three months, you need to visit a temple at least. And then we're having a casting. Here's the post office, I think. Yeah, post office. So yeah, I don't like uh, tourist attractions because I don't know, it feels so boring and there's only tourists there, so I don't know, like I've, I've been to a lot of tourist attractions, but that's only because I've traveled with my family or been with friends or people that want to see things. That's typical for the city you're in. The only thing I felt like, okay, this I want to see, that was the Eiffel Tower in Paris, because like when you grow up, you've known the Eiffel Tower since you were like three years old. So that I really felt like I wanted to see. So I'm here. It's uh, yeah, it's really beautiful, but that's it. <laughs> so it really got me inspired. Like it would be really cool as painting in your apartment. So like. Yeah, I find some inspiration here, but mm, kind of boring. <laughs> so I wrote my wishes for this year. Also, I put some money in it and yeah, I put it in a box. So that's nice with some activity. I only had one casting today and it went really bad, but it can't always go perfect. Today it was so fucking warm. It was perfect, it was sun, it was no wind. And then, just like three, four hours later, it turned to like minus degrees and windy as fuck and almost snow, I don't know. So I freezed so much and I did the casting, it went shit and then I went eating with uh, with some friends from the agency. Now I'm in my room with a blanket, a lot of clothes and I have a photo shoot tomorrow. Good night. Good morning guys. <laughs> the wind today is so cold, it's insane. I'm wearing so much clothes and still about to die. But I'm on my way to work. I'm super excited. I hope they have coffee. I'm gonna ask for that. Baby, one day I'm home.
is served it smells so good it only me but like every time i cook i always do the dishes before i eat so i can enjoy my meal it feel like like my boyfriend my family my friends they all make a mess in the kitchen and then they eat and just leave the mess there and they enjoy the meal like i can't relax if i haven't done the dishes before i eat so sometimes my food gets cold <laughs> if it's a lot of dishes and sometimes just like medium warm which is totally fine with me because i'm really fucking sensitive to um warm food and warm drink uh, some people say oh i'm also sensitive to uh, warm drinks but they no like they start to drink way earlier than me i always burn myself um I don't know what, is someone else here super sensitive to hot food? I rather drink a uh, coffee like after 15 minutes than like when it's warm. I don't know. What what do you do? Like do you do the dishes before you eat or do you do the dishes after? Comment down below because this is really interesting, <laughs> I think. Okay, let's dig in. Mmm. Oh, uh, warm. So today we're doing an all white outfit. The pants from Dolce Gabbana, bought at Humana Second Hand. Boots, new rock. Tank top, and then this is from Dol Dolskill. Got a bag. Today I don't have any costumes, I think. Like, so I'm gonna visit a cafe. Also work with some model scouting. This is my dinner and it's nice to have some Indian food and not like Asian all the time. Here's the Palak Paneer. Okay, so let's try. Mm. Actually, one of my uh, goals for 2023 is to learn cooking English. <laughs> learn cooking Indian food. It is Friday, 7 p.m. I've got my noodles, tofu, and a peach cider. So I'm going out party. I'm gonna meet a Swedish friend. Or actually, we don't know each other that well, but she's super nice. We're gonna go to like an event party. It's formal dress code, which is kind of fancy. I don't know what to wear yet, but I'm gonna end this vlog right here. I'm gonna eat this, put on some makeup, change to a fancy outfit, and then... I'm gonna have a really nice night. Next week, I have three photo shoots. In front of I'm, I'm so thankful. Like, I'm so thankful I work a lot. Like, that's so nice. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification button so you don't miss any videos. Also, give this a thumbs up if you like this video. Bye, guys.